Ivy Coastline took center stage this morning as close to 1,300 people took advantage of a race that shut down the scenic East Honolulu Drive for the first time ever. KITV Force Catherine Cruz tells us it could be the start of something big. <laughs> Organizers weren't sure what to expect for a fun run and walk to raise funds for a Huinalu Canoe Club. They'd initially hoped for a modest field of 300, but got four times that. It started with Kelly's dream a couple years ago, sharing it. And sometimes you, it takes the sharing of a dream to make it a reality. But I think the main thing is people are stoked, they're happy, um, the community got to be a part of it, and we don't know where this is going to end up. The club will get to put money raised today toward refurbishing a winning Koa canoe, and then some. And those paddlers who normally brave the rugged coast from Makai Pier as part of their toughness training got a chance to appreciate looking down on the waters instead of being in it, battling the wind and waves. Actually, it was kind of cool seeing the, um, seeing the coast from um, a different angle and different perspective and just imagining yourself out there on a bump or what you, you know, it brought up a lot of memories out there. The event took on additional meeting from one East Honolulu resident. Phil Esterman was one of the co-founders of a community grassroots group who fought to protect Sandy Beach from development two and a half decades ago. It was not only uh, exhilarating, it was gratifying because we worked very hard. 25 years ago to hold an election for that coastline and two-thirds of voters on Oahu voted to, to keep it in open space and today we have uh, a whole new generation I would say of people that appreciate the coastline. The race did shut down the road from Sandy's to Hunama which some said was unthinkable and it did mean delaying the opening of the Cocoa Head rifle range by an hour but it provided a most unusual break from the sound of traffic whizzing by to allow mother nature to have her say. Reporting from along the Kaivi coast, Catherine Cruz, KITV4 News.